In this video, I'm going to break down the LinkedIn algorithm, but not only am I going to do that for you, I'm also going to give you some pro tips on exactly how you can win with it starting today. Stay tuned. What's up, Flowtech Connector? Sean back at you with another high ticket tune up. Hope you're doing really well today. Make sure and smash that like button. Share this out to somebody who needs to get better at sales, specifically social selling, potentially in the DMs. Uh, and of course, if you find value throughout this video, please make sure and smash that subscribe button because these that you guys are what I do it for. So I just want to make sure that this is valuable for you. And remember, it's always a conversation, not a one way street here. So I do want to hear your feedback. I would love any comments uh, that you could drop below. So with that said, I want to dive into breaking down the LinkedIn algorithm. There's a couple of things that are very important when it comes to knowing how to break down the LinkedIn algorithm. And so I'm going to go through some of those things with you to make it really, really simple. So the first thing is, let's just talk about the basics of the LinkedIn algorithm. So what is it focused on? Well, the LinkedIn algorithm is focused on making sure that every member of its platform provides content that is the most relevant to the viewer's interests while encouraging engagement. So there's kind of two things you need to know there. Again, you want relevant content um, and something that's going to entice your reader, your viewer to actually take some action. But wait, there's a lot more when it comes to this because you don't want to be salesy. One of the things that the algorithm does look for is feedback and other things like that. So we don't want to be too salesy, but yet we do want to have some sort of a call to action. So as we get into uh, a little bit more about the measurement metrics of what the algorithm actually measures on LinkedIn, these are the six things that the algorithm actually measures. Number one, are you personally connected to the person that you're working to sell to or, 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 or connect with, right? So the algorithm prioritizes content from people with direct connections. So if you have a direct connection with somebody, that means it's gonna be a higher probability that that content that you're putting out there is gonna be delivered into their feed. As well as if you have shared interests with those people, maybe you're part of the same groups, uh, you comment on some of the same posts. So personal connections and that connection between people is something that the algorithm actually searches for and looks for and credits you when you're in that game. Secondly, relevance. So we got personal connections, number one. Relevance is number two. How closely does the user's profile match the content they are posting? Meaning, does your profile, your banner pick, your headlines, your um, you know your activity feed, your posting, your articles, your groups that you're joined into, how much relevancy does that have with the content that you're actually creating and posting? Okay, the level of interest in the topic according to the past, right? So now we look at content that you've posted in the past and how relevant was that or what was the level of interest that that had recently? And then the likelihood of your post engagement. Uh, again, the algorithm looks at this and they says, okay, well, look, you made this post today. You made a post similar last year. That's relevant. So that will boost you up in the rankings and get you to show more. Uh, and then of course, like if it got engagement in the past, it'll probably get engagement in the future. And so the algorithm will say, yes, let's show this to more people. So that's number two is relevance. Number three is behavior. This is how often you take behavior on the platform. LinkedIn is watching this. Very important that you know that, right? So how often do you log in? What type of posts are you engaging with? How long do you spend reading articles? Do you go to groups? Do you make comments on other people's stuff, right? So when you go to link logged in to LinkedIn, make sure you're taking human behavior by actually taking some time and consuming a little bit just to peak the algorithm's interest is what's necessary. Again, minimum effective dose here is something that I would encourage and recommend. Uh, when you get involved in logging into LinkedIn, I would go and just you know make it the rule of three. Go and like three people's comments, like three people's posts, make a couple of comments here or there, and just do three, 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 and then you're done, right? And you do that a couple of times a week, the algorithm is instantly going to say, oh, this person's real. I'm definitely going to show some of the content out to other people. So that's number three is behavior. So we got personal connections, relevance, behavior. Number four is engagement, right? So high likes, comments, and shares in a short time period, right? So the volume of likes, comments, and shares that you're getting on your post uh, in the shortest time period possible, makes the algorithm show this out to more people. So shares are the most valuable and the most weight in the equation. So if you can get people to share something, um, that's more valuable to the algorithm than just doing a comment. If you are going to comment, make sure it's a longer form comment. 
Don't just make a smiley face or say one or two words. M write, write something thoughtful as a comment. That's going to be weighted heav more heavily than just an, a reaction, like a like, a love, or a, or a, you know, a smiley face or something like that. So engagement is number four. Number five is the content quality. Again, must be on point, must be relevant. High quality original content is favored. Don't be ripping off other people's content. I think you can take other people's ideas and put your own spin on it. That is considered high quality original content. Posts that are informative, relevant to your network, and not overly salesy. Those are the three things you got to remember. Again, informative, relevant, but not overly salesy is the secret when you're making content to post on LinkedIn if you want to spike the algorithm in your favor. Last but not least is timeliness. This is number six. Uh, newer content is more likely to appear in other people's news feeds than older content. Pretty simple. So the six measurement metrics for LinkedIn, let me list them again really quick. Personal connection. Are you connected? Relevant. How relevant is it to your audience? The behavior that you're personally taking. Are you doing those likes and comments and shares? Uh, the engagement that other people are doing with your content, the quality of your content, and the timeliness of how often you post. So creating some sort of a cadence that's consistent. Algorithms look for consistency. So make sure and be posting once, twice, or three times a week uh, and just do that consistently. You're going to be in favor with the LinkedIn algorithm. So here's a couple of the pro tips that I mentioned I wanna share with you, right? So number one, when you use the algorithm, remember it adjusts based on feedback and user behavior. This algorithm is designed and run and powered by AI. We always talk about AI just being a new thing on the block. It's not. Algorithms have been using AI since the beginning of time. They're smarter and they will increase and they are looking and watching what you're doing. So remember, it adjusts based on feedback that it's getting. If you make a post that's not relevant, somebody says, this sucks, don't show it to me again, guess what? That algorithm is probably gonna slap you a little bit or throttle you a little bit. Secondly, it favors meaningful in, uh, interactions, like I mentioned a minute ago. Uh, make long form comments. If you're making comments on people's posts, write a little bit more, write a little paragraph, write three or four or five sentences, or even drop a picture, something like that. So long form comments usually spike the algorithm in your favor. Shares of other people's posts are important. Reactions are always posts. That's why you like and share and comment on other people's. And then also click throughs. LinkedIn does look at if somebody's dropping something and you click that link to go through and read an article, or you go outside of LinkedIn to look at a website. It actually looks at that information and it says, huh, this person's real. This is relevant to them. And now that person has a better algorithm score than, you know, they did before because you clicked through on their stuff. So remember the algorithm favors meaningful interactions. Next, stay focused on what the platform promotes. Be watching in the news. Take a second. And when you're doing your diligence on the platform, you just log into LinkedIn, say what's new in LinkedIn or Google that or something like that. And you can see what the platform is always staying focused on. What's the new big push example? Uh, you know, LinkedIn came out with groups recently. It came out with live feeds a little bit before that. And um, so so those are the things that it's consistently pushing and trying to get user data and feedback on. So if you play the game of the algorithm, you're more likely to win with it, right? Um, next, produce content that's relevant and do it on a timely basis. And that's it, right? So when you consistently post and it's relevant to your audience. If you're in a space or a niche, be the thought leader. Think about what would a thought leader post about your topic? Go to ChatGPT and ask, hey, what's the most top three relevant things I should talk about as a thought leader in this niche? Now you have some really decent content that you can actually focus on, right? So producing content that's relevant and doing it on a timely basis is absolutely gonna help you to win at the highest level. And with that said, guys, these are the pro tips, these four pro tips and how the algorithm is broken down. I hope this was valuable to you because I know a lot of people see this stuff and they're like, whoa, that was awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. So if it was valuable, please give this a like, share it out to someone else that needs to get better um, and learning this stuff and of course, if you found some value, please smash that subscribe button. I appreciate you so much, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Ciao for now.